just touched down in Nairobi. Um, I raced, what day is it today? I'm honest, my days are all over the place. I raced yesterday morning. Um, it went okay, it was alright, exact same time as I ran last week. Um, but I was happier with it, the way I ran it. First three miles was really, I don't know what I was doing, I was like a slug. And then I really woke up with three miles to go. My last three miles were, um, yeah, I'm really happy, I felt strong. Especially the last two miles was really uphill as well, so time-wise I was really happy. Um, we decided to board a flight to Kenya literally straight after the race, um, mainly because we wanted to just get the travel done. Um, and also, for the first time, we were going on safari, um, which is pretty exciting. So yeah, I've never ever, I've been to Kenya eight times and all I've saw is it's goats and chickens so um, yeah I'm really looking forward to going on my first ever safari um, it fitted in well we had two easy days coming up and um, so it's a very short trip on safari we're only literally here a day and a half and um, we have a morning drive in Nairobi National Park and then we fly to Masamara um, and we have a few game drives around the conservancy near there so it's a pretty exciting few days ahead um, and then we're off to 10 for what is going to be a very tough three weeks of training um, in the lead up to Christmas um, so yeah as you can tell I'm very excited and um, Parini camps, uh, Pruny Lion Camp is the one that we're going to um, tonight um, they're hosting us for, for the two days that we're here so we're so excited um, yeah we can't wait to get started now Landing in the Matai Mara. Unbelievable. and we ended up seeing a cheetah kill a gazelle within the first, I don't know, 10 minutes of driving around. Michael had joked, these guys had asked us, what do we want to see? And Michael said, I want to see a kill. And honestly, within 10 minutes, we just saw a kill. Um, so I feel like we're pretty lucky. I don't think that happens too often, to be honest with you first time. But these guys are right here. I've got so many incredible pictures. I've wasted all my battery and all my data.
for her life. Oh my god, he's coming for us! What's he doing? Oh my god. Everything is entirely solar panelled. These solar panels, and there's a couple of the tents. So there's 10 of these little tents all around the camp. And we have a main food tent for lunch and dinner. And then there's also a very small tent over there, um, the media tent, in order to let you charge up your phones and cameras. Because obviously, in this day and age, we are technology mad. So, yeah, there's literally everything you need. But it's so so quiet um, in this little pristine part of the Masamara. So this is tent number three. This is where we'll be staying this evening. Um, so it's not quite the typical tent as you can see. But come in and have a look around there. Welcome to our humble abode. So this is our lovely little room for the evening. Uh, not quite your, your typical tent as you would imagine. We have a nice double bed. Um, we have all the comforts of what you would have I suppose in a normal hotel room but in underneath this beautiful little tent. Um, it is completely enclosed obviously and there's zips everywhere in order to keep those little naughty baboons out. Um, we heard a few stories of the baboons trying to unzip the tents when people are out and steal some of their food. Um, thankfully we've had no baboons yet, um, but this is our little bathroom, we have a nice flush toilet, sink, and then we have a bucket shower as well, but again, as you would imagine, it's not quite a bucket shower, um, not the ones that we certainly have in E10 when we're uh, training. This one is, yeah, a little bit more plush than that, a little bit more luxury. It's hot water and it does accommodate two people, so yeah, we've been very, very lucky in our choices. from 
massive manna. It is an early start. Way too early for me. I'm struggling. I feel like I've had a big night out. I'm like, horse. Oh. Um, but yeah, this morning we were up at 5.45 wake up call. Um, they brought us some really nice fruit juice this morning. Michael some... Huh? Michael some tea. Um, and then I'm going to have a bucket shower um, before we go and have a really nice bush breakfast. And um, We have a morning around... Um, the Conservancy and um, before we're heading to attend so I'm really excited. So this morning we're up bright and early um, to try and find the resident leopard called Fig. Now she's got some cubs with her at the moment as well, um, but these leopards are pretty elusive, so if we crossed, we can find them. We're now at the Mara River, so we're going to have some breakfast here. I don't know if you can see, but there's some headphones in the background, so we're going to have a bush breakfast whilst we watch the Say hello. Ahoy. So we just stopped the Mara River to have our bush breakfast in the background, you can see these guys. Um, it's so beautiful here, it's so peaceful, so quiet. Um, the only noise we've got are these big hippos in the background, wherever they are. Here we go, these big hippos, um, making a whole lot of noise. We've yet to see a crocodile, but I think that's a good thing, because I'd be probably petrified and die instantly, I think, if I saw one. Um, but yeah, it's been such a beautiful morning, the food has been delicious um, but it was certainly worth the drive to come down to here.
experience. I can't even put into words how amazing it's been. Um, we are currently at the airstrip waiting for our flight back to 310. Um, we've saw absolutely every animal you could imagine, all in their natural environment. It's been honestly unbelievable. Um, the Perini Lion Camp have looked after us truly well and beyond what they needed to do. The food was amazing, the drivers were perfect. Um, honestly, there's not a single part that we could fault. Um, so it's been honestly a, a real dream come true. But unfortunately, it's time to go back to work. We have some further dream to chase on the track this time. So we're now heading to 10 for three weeks of hard, hard work. <laughs> Bye. 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 Bye.